Christmas is a celebration of the Christ at Christmas time. Christmas came from the word Christ. And Christ was not a man. Christ was and is the divine manifestation of God that comes to the human consciousness and takes away hatred, bitterness, resentment, ignorance. It replaces all of the human qualities that man has and replaces them with divine qualities. Jesus was the greatest representation of the presence of the Christ. He lived it, he taught it, and he told us that we could do the same thing. Many people believe that Jesus is God. Jesus never claimed to be God. He said he was the Son of God or the Son of Man, the man made in the image and the likeness of God. Jesus was not God, he was God the. And he told us we could be the same. How do I know this? Because his words are the works that I do, you can do also. And he wanted us to know that the Christ is a minute by minute expression of God. It's God's wisdom, God's love, God's peace, and God's joy. The chief priests did not understand that. And when Jesus preached in opposition to what they were saying and not doing, they hated him. So they believed that if they killed the man Jesus, they would kill the Christ that he expressed. What a mistake. Because 2,023 years later, we are still demonstrating the presence of the Christ. During the Christmas season, we use hymns, songs, carols to represent our understanding of the Christ. And many people taught us that the gift that God gave us was Jesus Christ. And it was. Jesus was a man. But Christ was a representation of God. And no man before him or after him that many of us recognize represented that Christ better. So as we look at the Christmas season and express the Christmas season today, let us remember the words that Jesus said. Peace, I leave with you. First he said, peace I give to you. Peace, I leave with you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. He's letting us know that the human element of worshiping God does not get it. 
We have to, minute by minute, cast out the thoughts that make us ungodly, not godly. And it is not easy. There were times in my life that the only time that I thought of God and what I should do to express Him was when I went to church. Throughout the week, I would do whatever Mamie wanted to do. But that doesn't get it. Throughout the day, I am constantly casting out evil thoughts out of my mind. And Jesus was the greatest example of that. He lived with the presence of the Christ. I do not every minute. I am much better at it now. But I have a tendency to let the worldly things irritate me. And so I respond to them. And then I have to come behind that and correct that response. It's not evil to tell people the truth, even though people may think you're being evil when you tell them the truth. But you do not have to react to their anger, and sometimes I do. Jesus didn't. And that infuriated infuriated the chief priests and so they killed the human Jesus but they couldn't kill the Christ that he expressed so let's bring joy into the hearts of people during the Christmas season make their nights silent and holy and remember the night that the Christ in the form of a little baby came into the world lived for 33 years to teach us what it means to manifest God